Good morning, you two. Get you out my cracked windshield here. We're rolling up on this pad job here. I'm fixing to get started this morning, get it wrapped up. If I don't get down in here and get stuck, maybe not. Oh, I'm sliding. Yeah, I'm just gonna hang it right here. Let's grab my cat key. Tobacco. We're good to go this morning. Oh, oh yeah, this has dried up a bunch since yesterday. Hopsel up in here still pretty yeah it's still pretty wet but we can get up in here looks pretty dry <laughs> oh oh let's see here well let me get this master switch and yeah, I need both hands I'll be back I've got to this bank right here I gotta cut it straight off there's an orange stop right there somewhere you can't really tell in this camera but that bank's got to go straight down about five foot and I gotta take everything down here to fill in down across here because I'm not quite my stop over here. I'm not quite my stop over there. And I'm about a foot and a half low. So we got the D5 warming up this morning. And I'm fixed to go to pushing. That tree right there has got to come out. And then I also got to finish up this pad right here for the garage. need some more dirt over on it so all right I'm gonna let this thing warm up a minute and we gonna go to pushing and walk over and see if the white light looks like early this morning this dirt just barely sticking to my feet so maybe it'll be all right go i think once i get moving a little bit it'll be all right but there's the lake all right everybody we are pushing some red dirt um, i've hit some sand rock back here i'm not sure how i'm gonna deal with that but we're pushing Yesterday, 
it, but I got the Peter Bill.
timber down here and we ain't got the bad though. So I guess it's time for us to get our butts in here. If y'all can hear it or not this wind's kind of blowing pretty good but i've got this pad pretty darn close i like just a little bit on that back corner this corner's good um the garage pad i've got dirt piled on it to push down the driveway i started stripping topsoil on it but we still gotta cut that bank down we're gonna make it flat all the way over to the edge where it drops off for the lake and that bank down through there still got to be brought down. Um, I got to bring an excavator over here because I've hit sand rock up in there. And it's just, it's too hard on that dozer to chisel through sand rock to me. I'd rather bring a $30,000 excavator over here than stick that $80,000 dozer in there and wear it out. That's just my thoughts because I got rock teeth on my bucket already. So I've got some piled there on the garage pad that'll get pushed down through there. And yeah, anyways, and then see all this topsoil down here will just get spread 
once we dig footers we'll get spread around this edge back up to the backfill around the footers and stuff and the reason why we're doing a pad most of the time you would just come in on these and just dig footers and build a house but this back corner back here is going to be a slab porch that he wants the same elevation as the garage so therefore it's just as simple just to make one big pad instead of having it all cut up you have to do drops in your footers and step downs and step ups and so if we get it all flat it's one pour no step ups no step downs so on and so forth makes everybody's life easier this stuff is compacting really well uh engineer will be here i think he's coming next wednesday to do a compaction test on it to make sure that passes which it should i've doing four inch lifts and walking it in four inch lifts and walking it in so really and truly this pad should have took me about half this time but between rock rain it is what it is so anyways y'all uh i got a little bit of pushing footage on there hit that thumbs up button leave us lots of comments and we out of here